vertical flight is a unit to catch it, just like this. There we go. What it's like a, yeah. it's a very awkward silence, not impressed. Not impressive enough, I'm helpful. Okay, calm down. Let's try higher, right? One, two, three, and up we go! Venomous secrets, a highly venomous sea snake. 
Good. Just face these legs. Don't add a replica of one right over here. Today we're going to watch Nelson catch it from the surface of the bottom.
Now they start at an altitude of 8,000 feet in the sky, swimming over other vultures. And when they descend upon the carcass, other vultures will make way for the king to join in the feast. But hold on, the feast only begins when the king vulture arrives. And this is because they have shot strong beaks, which helps them to rip, tear, pull, and even turn over mediums by carcasses, which is something other vultures cannot do. And that is why he truly deserves the title, the King Vulture. So it's time for him to head back home. Let's get back with some cowboys. Oh, magnificent. King Vulture. Well, everyone, all on the screen. This looks like a scene of chaos. A bunch of greedy birds competing and stripping a large carcass right down to its bones. And to me, this looks like a very disorganized well, what if I told you vultures are social species? They actually respect their place in the pecking order. So when vultures gather, there is a feeding protocol. So with that, let's welcome our first guest, the male of our African white pet vultures. They are the middle beast, feeds on the organs and flesh of the carcass. And once they spot a carpet, they will wait nearby before beginning to feast. But once they get going, about a hundred greedy birds will gather for a meal and strip a large carcass down to its bones in less than a few minutes. And once widely found in Africa, these birds are now critically endangered and disappearing at an alarming rate. Now moving on to the next course of the meal, which will be the height and ligament of the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, answer our scenarios, Vulture! The heavy plates from Kuro. Now, unlike other Vulture species, these birds are more solitary, and they prefer to feed in smaller groups, except when they are breeding and having chicks. Now, our large tail right back there uses a strong grip of feet and hook big to rip apart top skin and feed on chunks of flesh. Now, everyone, we have two more scavengers joining us. Keep your eyes right up there! One more coming! Almost there! Oh, so these are the worker stocks who also can be found from Africa. And when you take a close look at them, you will notice that they have a leather like beak and a stern old man face. And of course, being scavengers, they cooperate and coexist with vultures, joining them in the feast. Now, did you know that in Africa, about 11 different species of vultures are responsible for cleaning up to 70% of the continent's area? So, without these amazing birds, humans would be in a lot of trouble. That's right, because all over the world, we are losing these birds at an alarming rate. Due to various reasons such as poaching, deforestation, electrocution and superstitious beliefs. Now, many around the world are critically endangered or on the brink of extinction. So conservation efforts would be the only way to save these birds from becoming extinct. So with that I think they deserve a lot more appreciation, so let's show them our support by giving them a round of applause. Now today we have met some raptors and scavenger birds, the of the skies and the walkers of our earth. Now they are all a part of our ecosystem, a part of our planet. If we were to lose these amazing birds, we will be losing a part of our planet. Now, having said that, let's all learn to live in harmony with all.